I guess we gotta get out of the village then, because there's nothing to do here? This would be my best guess now. Just... What? You guys, wait up! Well, I'll be. I haven't seen you in ages. Isun? It is you! I thought I heard you talking to Samical. Just thought I'd come back and see how things were after my trip. Can't believe what hap would have hap what's happened to the village since it's been gone. And that Samical's still as stubborn as ever. When did he become chief? Well, a lot's happened this past year. Look, he'll feast if you stay outside too long. Why did you come rest at my place? Bring the White Wolf too. At least the cold is a bit more bearable inside. It's been ages, hasn't it, Isun? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Wolfie. I'm Kai. This is Amaterasu, otherwise known as No Bar Family. Well, you know, I take pride in not bathing. Let's cut to the chase, there's so much I want to ask you. It's all about those demons that are playing Kamui. What the heck brought that on? No one knows for certain. Those twin demons, Lechku and Nechku, they were sealed away by a brave Oina hero years and years ago. And they have been enshrined at the Wauku Shrine ever since. And one day they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A terrible blizzard descended upon Kamui. And Kamu set out for the shrine at the top of Izufuji to pacify them. But they nearly killed him. He was no match for the evil magic. Samikil managed to get him, get to him just in time and bring him back. They dangled even more violent and turned Ezofuji into a glacier. They unleashed a the blizzard to smother a Kamui in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Samikul is trying to protect the village while Kamu recovers. There's nothing we can do about those demons. We are in a fix if old man Kamu's prayers don't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we heard what sounded like an earthquake from Shinjo Field to the south. On that fateful day, Kamu declared that the evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kamui is sometimes called the land of hidden darkness, and there's a legend that says all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all world's demons are coming back to Kamui now. A black shadow passed overhead from the south recently, and vanished into Wauku Shrine as if it had been swallowed up. Actually, I think the blizzard's been stronger since then. Kai, there's something else I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with the sacred sword Kutone? I saw him with it outside the village. How could old man Kemo let him take it at a time like this? Oh, you met Oki! He left here with our sacred sword the morning after it all started. As soon as Samikul was chosen to take Kemo's place as chief, Oki just took the sword and left without permission. People from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back, but Oki chases them off. He says he'll defeat the demons himself. He just walked away with the sacred sword? He didn't even ask commission! <laughs> While everyone admits Oki is a great warrior, even Samikul does. But it's impossible to defeat all the demons by himself. I just don't know why he did it, now of all times. Huh. It's cause Oki. Everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that. Samikul would never say it, but he was Oki more than anyone else. He's convinced Oki will come back and help the village. So why do you have to snap at us like that? I'm told Fairwell here to get asked. After the village was attacked by the demons, Lika went missing. Lika? As in, Lika, you are... That's right, my little sister. We scoured the village and the surrounding area, but we couldn't find her. She just vanished. Not poor little Lika, too! Why would those demons go mess with a little girl like that? I don't know for sure if the demons are behind her disappearance, but they would certainly have reason to seek her out. You see, Lika... Lika holds the fate of this village in her hands. The fate of this village? That was Kemu's howl. He's calling to you soon. He's summoning the both of you. Alright. If we're being summoned, we gotta heed the call. That's just how summoning works, I guess. I think. So I've been told. I've never been summoned. So what do I know? Answer? Not much. So I guess let's... Go. What, do you think I'll pull a big or something? Get okay. summons the white wolf to his home. You may enter. Well, that's about time! How do you wait, jump? Grr. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the village elder, old man Camo, but looks like he have already kicked the bucket. How many times the grabs here tan my hide? Ah, there's no time to be dredging up the past. <laughs> oh, what's that bad mouthing me? Looks like there's still some eyes to be tanned! Bruh. Bruh. Could you not? <laughs> Seriously. What happened? Was that a dream? Was I sleep all again? Sheesh, old man snows a lot. Tan hides in his sleep too. Why is that little Lee soon? So then I wasn't dreaming. I thought I heard Sammy kill talking to someone outside. I must say, you soon. You've grown. Barely lost it on that I put a cock in it, Gramps. You summon us because you wanted some of the clover? Ah, yes. Uh, let's go down to business, eh? It is the White Wolf I wish to speak with. You've no doubt already heard this from Kai, but her little sister Leica has gone missing. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that's right. Fred is the very existence of the village. So, I guess you remember, don't you think you're exaggerating a bit? No, we are not exaggerating. Besides, you've been gone so long, how could you possibly know? Leica has gained spiritual power far beyond my own. Her power is now the key to saving the land of Kamui. Are you saying Lika's power can defeat those demons? Not exactly. There's another reason we need her power. It is for Izofuji, the protector deity of Kamui. Izofuji? As you know, Izofuji is formed from two active volcanoes. Each year I recite a volcanic incantation that triggers an eruption that warms this frigid land of Kamui. But the demon's power has plunged Izofuji into an icy slumber. Day by day, Kamui grows weaker and weaker, colder and colder. If you don't have Lika recite the volcanic incantation soon, the land of Kamui will become an icy tomb for us all. Yeah, why don't you just recite it yourself? I would if I could! I'm no longer have the strength to pray in this raging blizzard. Any idea where Lika could be? That's the problem, we've searched high and low for the girl with no luck. There's one place we have yet to look. Where? Yoshpet, the mysterious forest of deception. Ugh. I got a faint whiff of Lika emanating from Yoshpet. After all, I do have the keenest nose of all the Oina tribe. She could be somewhere around here on your map. I'd like you to conduct the first search of that forest. You've gotta be kidding me! I won't dodge that place with a telephone pole! Oh, White Wolf, you're our last hope. Not me! She Samuel must remain here to protect the villagers. Ogi has left the village on some fool's errand. You're the only one left. Hold on a minute, old man. Do you even know who this furball is? Do not mock me, little sprite! That's pure white coat, those crimson markings, and the divine instrument is not out in the legendary of Shiranui! The name is known far and wide, even in this distant land of Kamui. I don't think the legendary wolf yet lives. Well, actually, this here is... Shiranui, please, you must help us. Lika must recite a volcanic incantation soon. Alright. I will open the village's far gate, at least till Dauchi Lake. You should get what you need from the village before you set out. Okay. Well then. So we can go up here now. I don't know where this leads. Let's see. Ezo Fuji. Whoa. That is a big... What? That's a huge ship. Wow. It's the altar where the sacred sword Kutone was enshrined. There's a great wolf Laoji lake at Esofuji from here. The sacred sword isn't here now. So the altar is also dedicated to the Ark of Yamato. It's said that the Ark has been frozen in Laoji lake for countless ages. You can see it down there in the frozen lake. That's the Ark of Yamato. It's a very sacred place for the Oina tribe. Dang. 
I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna come back here someday. Another civilization, you say? I guess we shouldn't be here yet. Maybe. But that minimap looks awesome. So I guess for now we should go to that forest. So let us backtrack through the village. We're doing a sick jump. Yeah! Hell yeah. Sick jumps are the best. Wait, where's the, where's the shop? Shop open now? Shop open now. Hello. Hello. Yes, please. Let's sell some fish first. And some treasures. Didn't get that many, actually. Huh. Okay, bye. Resurrection beads. Sure. I still have three more coins, that's fine. Seeds, I've got stones, herbs, more meat, that, and otherwise the usual suspects of purchase. Okay. Let's check out the resurrection beads, I guess. Wow. They look awesome! Alright, let's save the game and do a recording split here because the video is getting a bit long. The raw video that is. And well, I'll be careful with video at all, at all times, so be our bizzle.